to have chat or not to have chat? That is the question. I'm Devin Hers, and today we are going to discuss having a chat team on your side that will help your business succeed. Welcome to this week's DMC Marketing Nugget. So I'm sure everyone out there has been on a website and boom, in the lower right hand corner, a chat icon pops up to greet you. Well, today I have special guest, president of Interchanges, a 20 year old lead generation firm. I wanna welcome Nelson Bruton. Hello, thank you for having me, Devin. Pleasure to be here. Oh yeah, great to have you here as well. And Nelson, you've got some awesome software and a, a business that I wanna bring uh, some attention to and let our visitors out there know that this even exists. Um, so please give us some insight on your background and how you really got started in this segment of marketing. Absolutely. So we, gosh, we've been in business for 20 years and we're a full service digital marketing agency. And um, about 17 years ago, one of the things that we plugged into our digital marketing solution package, if you will, is a live chat solution. And uh, because we were already doing SEO and SEM and email marketing to drive people to a website, we were focused on how do we convert more of those people into sales opportunities. And we started adding chat to the website and built our chat teams out and it worked very, very well. And so that's how we kind of came about 17 years ago, adding that chat solution to the overall mix. Yeah, that's, that's great. And I know that interaction definitely helps engage with visitors. And I would say that your platform is definitely different than what a lot of people experience out there when it comes to chat bots and whatnot. Uh, so we'll get into that mm -hmm. in just a minute, but I think people spend tons of money getting people to their website, but they lose them as quickly as they you know get them there. So give us some insight on how your platform really helps keep the visitors engaged and what differentiates you from the typical chat bots that are out there. Uh, Cause I know this is a completely different way about going, to, going about it. Yeah, it really is. And uh, yeah, I'll kind of start with, you know, there's a ton of chat software companies out there that are really good. And if you have the people and capability to staff it yourself, it's a great option, right? Especially if you're a small business. Um, there's a lot of good, very inexpensive chat software out there. There's a lot of chat software that has AI built into it, artificial intelligence, where you can program a bot to answer simple questions on your site and direct people through kind of different choices. And that can work in the right applications. Where we really specialize is the more complex B2B environments. We work with mostly industrial components and equipment manufacturers, truck manufacturers, equipment dealers, where the conversation is more complex, where trying to think about programming a bot is just a whole other level uh, because there's so many different options, products, technical details, et cetera. And so where we separate ourselves is we provide a 24 seven dedicated chat team, real humans behind the chat. So we have our own proprietary chat software, which is just a widget that, you know, like all the others, you copy and paste the code onto the site that puts the chat widget there. But again, what truly separates us is that we have teams of people in call centers, professionals that we train specifically to dedicate to a customer website. And uh, that served us very, very well in the more complex B2B uh, customer space. So instead of having AI or a chat bot, these are actual real people that understand your client's business to be able to answer questions that are thrown at them. Is that correct? Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, one of the things I like to distinguish is, you know, when we train our people, we have a very detailed process that we go through. It's an easy process, but it's a process where we're not trying to train our chat team to become salespeople or a sales specialist or product experts for our customers, nor could we for the intensely technical customers that we have, we are conversion experts. So when okay. we go through the training process, we're training them to be able to help the visitors navigate the pages of the website. We're training them to be able to answer common questions that come up. We're training them to be able to ask some top level qualifying questions. Uh, for our technical customers that we have though, typically what happens eventually is the visitor will ask a technical question or an application or a facility specific question that we won't know the answer to. And at that point, our team simply says, 
let me have one of our experts help you with that. Can I have your phone number and email address, please? Nice. Right, so they're, ca they're capturing that information, which is crucial, right? You want to get that contact information, which helps you market to them, ongoing, retargeting them, reach back out to them or have a sales professional from their team. But it's really an extension of, of their team because now you're saving them time by answering probably the most common FAQs uh, that are out there. Yeah. Yeah, you know, awesome. and a common concern that comes up is, well, you know, you guys are just the middleman. We have a contact form on our website people can fill out. We have a phone number people can call. And what we found doing this for 17 years, the people that prefer to call or fill out a contact form, they're still going to do those things. What Where our value lies is we're capturing the people who are today leaving the website because they don't want to call or fill out a form, but they would engage with chat because that's their preferred method of communication. I would say increasing conversions, what it's all about. And I know we spend uh, good money for our clients and for ourselves and you get traffic there and you're like, where'd they go? So this is just another way to really engage with them, keep them on the website longer, answer questions they may have and give you those opportunities that people are potentially losing. So when it comes to website visitors, what would be three nuggets uh, that you want to share with our audience today? Well, for, for us, you know, from, you know, deciding whether or not to, to do a test with somebody or if they want to decide to do a test with us, one of the discussion points is, do you have at least 3,500 people going to your website each month? That's kind of the minimum threshold. Um, you know, the chat software is really inexpensive. And so when you jump up to having a fully staffed team, obviously the investment levels go up. And so we want to take the time to make sure that there's a good chance, a really good chance of getting a really solid uh, return on investment for that investment. And so uh, 3,500 visitors, uh, you know, and you want to have, you know, in the B2B space, you want to have a high average sale uh, to be a good fit with, with what we do. If you have, if you have that amount of traffic or more, you know, up to 100,000, 200,000 visitors, we can handle high traffic websites as well. Um, and then you have a high average sale or one conversion could be worth a significant amount of money, you know, $3,000 or $100,000 or a million or $7 million. We converted a customer uh, on one of our other client sites that was worth $7 million. So wow. um, the high value average sale or high value customer over the course of a year or more, um, those conversions tend to produce that return on investment that we're both looking for, you know, because if our customers are getting a return on investment, they're going to stay with us for a long time. That makes total sense. And that I'm sure was a, a heck of a nice ROI to land a $7 million client. So we're going to see it for a while. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that, yeah. That's quite awesome to have that case study. Uh, so, you know, when you have, think about the websites and, and just with our audience out there that may be trying chat, have tried bots in the past. Um, mm -hmm. To me, I would say that one of the things that you want to keep in mind is to make sure that you're tracking how many phone calls mm -hmm. you're getting and, and really be able to track and measure. So you have any insight on, on that? No, you're exactly right. I mean, you have to have benchmark data, right? How many phone calls are you getting? How many contact forms are you getting? Uh, how much traffic do you get to your website? Those are three pieces of information that every marketing director or business owner should know because that's the key performance indicators that, that drive your digital strategy, right? Drive more traffic, convert more of it into calls, form completions. And then now we're talking about adding live chat as a conversion tool or a capture tool. Uh, how many live chats do you get? And so usually when we do a 30 day free trial with our customers, uh, they see a significant increase in conversions. They still usually get the same amount of phone number or phone calls and contact forms, but now they're getting chat conversations as well. Right. Yeah. And I would say that the, the, Another nugget here is the fact that you're starting conversations with the website visitors. So, I mean, I think people like that human interaction, uh, even though we all sit at home mm -hmm. and kind of scroll through different things and don't reach out to people on the phone anymore, but there is something to that personal touch. So um, your software really starts that conversation with the website visitors, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, you know, the way we do it too is, excuse me, is important. We proactively engage every single visitor. And so what that means is we automatically open up the chat window on a website after a certain period of time. Uh, usually it's 15 seconds or so where we'll pop up the chat window uh, for customers of ours that we have where their average visitors are on the site for longer than four minutes. We'll wait about 45 seconds to 50 seconds before we pop up the chat window. But that proactive chat is important. 
The next thing that's really important that I want to emphasize here is we allow the conversation to start to start right away. In other words, we don't require visitors to enter name, email address, or any other con contact information prior to the chat starting. That's a roadblock that prevents conversations from happening. So by us doing the proactive engagement and by us letting the visitor start typing right away when that chat window opens, we get more conversations started and more conversations, as you indicated, leads to more sales opportunities. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, whether you uh, want to talk with Nelson about interchanges and what they can do for you, which I highly recommend, uh, even if you're trying this out on your own, those three nuggets right there, I think will help you out. So uh, what type of businesses are you best suited for with your uh, software? Yeah. So, you know, like I said, the, the more complex, the, the better. I don't know if we have any uh, example sites we can pull up from our previous discussions, but um, yeah, this is a good one. Wildeck, this company manufactures uh, railings and mezzanines and guards for large industrial facilities and commercial facilities. And you see our chat window opened up in the bottom there. And if you were on their site, you could start typing right away. Uh, we literally doubled their sales leads. We doubled their quote requests. A uh, cool story with this one is, you know, when you click the get, get a quote button, it goes to a page where you pick which division you want to fill out a quote form for. And their quote forms are extremely long. Like if you click on the mezzanine request for quote, the second one, uh, that form is extremely long. I had suggested to the marketing director at the time when she was there, I said, more than likely, we're going to cannibalize this. You're going to get less of these. You're going to see a lot of chats. To my surprise, they still get the same number of people filling out this request for quote web form, okay. but we doubled their sales lead. So that right there just shows that, A, never make assumptions, test, right? Marketing is testing. Uh, number two, uh, it talks to the people's preferences on a site. The people that want to fill out this form, that's that's what they're comfortable with. That's what they prefer. They're going to do that. But we started capturing the people that wanted chat. That was, that was their preferred chat or preferred method of communication. Mm -hmm. And so having phone numbers, contact or quote forms and a chat, that's a huge nugget for businesses that are really trying to increase their sales opportunities and their sales pipeline. Love it. Love it. And uh, I mean, the fact that you have the, another, the proof of concept here. So yeah, let's move on to another site. Yeah, uh, this is a good story here. Elliott Equipment, this company, as you can see, manufactures different types of industrial trucks for specialized markets and specialized contractors. They sell through distributors and as do most of my customers. And the cool story here, they had a chat bot on their website when we first started working together a few years ago. I talked to the president of the company and I said, hey, you already have your data on your performance of your chat bot. And it was done pretty nicely. I mean, they had a chat bot with some intelligence built into it in terms of the different options people could click. And we did a 30 day test, human versus bot, if you will. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you can see, my chat team is still on their site because the humans won. We produced not only a higher volume of ch uh, sales opportunities, but the overall experience, the customer experience was greatly improved. Uh, compared to what they were seeing with their their chat bot. And, you know, whenever I go to trade shows and, and talk to people, you know, all these businesses talk about how they're relationship businesses. You know, their business is unique because it's the people, right? But <laughs> right. Everyone does say that, yeah. Yeah, if you're a relationship business, don't try to put a bot on your website, but people on there because people buy from people. Makes sense. And then right, I see the capstone. One more. Cap here too. Yeah. This company, extremely technical, this company manufactures and does uh, micro turbine installations all over the world. And, um, you know, the results were immediate for this company, like literally within five minutes of us putting the chat window on the site, they started getting conversions via chat of people that had questions about these micro turbine installations for their facilities. So uh, it doesn't matter how technical the business is. Remember what I said earlier, we're not training our team to know all the answers like for this, especially how could we, right? It's so technical. And so it's just a matter of providing the option of the, the chat and then welcoming them, getting the conversation started, asking a few qualifying questions about location or, you know, and I'm sure after this, you know, you can probably see on the screen right now um, a chat conversation where we can train our team to ask certain qualifying questions and, um, during the conversation when it gets sent over, uh, the chat transcript can be continuously and uh, as long as we work together, as long as we get feedback, we can 
continuously improve the chat transcript and the questions we ask and, and the answers that we give as long as our customer gives us that feedback as they come through. So it's, yeah, it's really cool. It's a fluid process and it gets better over time. Yeah, we've, we've used the, the service for our own business for Printivision or video brochures, and it was great. It, it really engaged with people and just another way for people to raise their hand and say, I'm interested. So that was great. Yep. Now, you can lead traffic to your website from Google Ads, from social media. Uh, as you know, mm -hmm. at DMC, we love direct mail. We love that tangible material going out to your prospects. Um, so even for your own segment of marketing, when you were trying to bring on new clients and going after some whale clients, uh, we know very well that you did some direct mail because you let us have some fun. Uh, so tell oh, yeah. us about your, your marketing efforts and direct mail to bring in some clients. I think it may have in, involved something like this, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. And people loved the money guns. So I got, a, I got great response. I had people coming to the website, engaging with our chat team on the website. Uh, they were much more responsive to the calls that I was making to them and the emails I was sending them. So, yeah, I mean, combining, you know, and, and being innovative in marketing is what it's all about and testing different things and testing unique ideas. Uh, certainly the money gun works very well for our for our campaigns and, uh, you know, chat, you know, having a chat team on your website. A lot of people haven't thought about doing that yet or if they have. And I'm kind of going backwards in our conversation a little bit, sure. but it's, an, it's another nugget I think will be valuable. A lot of companies that I talk to have tried chat in the past where they put a software and they try to staff it with their team. And what they found is their team gets busy. And then what does that, what does that create? That creates wait times for the visitors on the website, which is a horrible experience. We've all been on the other end of that where we're waiting for a response from a chat. Not good. Five seconds feels like five minutes, right? Right. Yeah. So we definitely yeah. live in that on demand world. So, you know, that instant yeah. reaction, being able to communicate with people quickly and intelligently is is hugely important because I, I feared that too. I'm like, how are they gonna know about you know our, our video brochures? You know, this is another one yeah. we did for you know, as part of your mm -hmm. campaign here. I love how that just pops yeah. up like that. But um, you know, with these video brochures, there's a lot that goes into them. Did you know that eighty five percent of website and never come back the video I questions you know, how does this website. work how's the design work better. how's the technology is it rechargeable can i load my own videos all those questions that i'm constantly answered via phone call you guys are yep. actually getting them ahead of me saving me time and helping them with any questions that they had so i think that was just mm -hmm. huge and uh, again thanks for letting us uh, have yeah, some business. fun with your direct marketing because those campaigns definitely work well and uh you know they really make a big difference on getting people to the website and i'd say with you know the ios issues with social media these days and google facebook yeah. charging an arm and a leg you know going back to that direct mail tied in with what you've got there on the chat to the website i'm assuming these can be on landing pages as well that instant chat yep absolutely excellent so yeah just and, think about the, the overall plan right it's not just one you gotta how am i getting them there but that remarkable experience once they get to your website so i think interchanges really does a great job on that um yeah. so I, I know you were kind enough to provide a, a sweet offer for our people out there today so why don't you tell us a little bit about that yeah i mentioned it earlier you know if anybody who's interested we have a 30-day free trial no strings attached uh zero commitment and it is super easy to set up it's very simple because we've been doing this for so long we have a onboarding script document it takes about 20 to 25 minutes to work through with me and then your work is done my team trains for about five to seven business days and then uh, we just copy and paste one line of code onto your site and we will waive any setup fee and do a 30-day free trial so you can see the results for yourself that's awesome. And uh, again, the, the process is, is great. It's smooth. They have a system for this to make it very easy on you. Any last uh, nuggets that you want to leave our audience with? Uh, you know, the, what I always tell people is that this is the low hanging fruit, quote unquote, you know, yeah. um, your people are already on your website. Just engage them in conversation. And typically uh, about 2% of your visitors will convert into a meaningful chat conversation. Wonderful. Well, I thank you. Thank you very much for all the wonderful nuggets that you provided, the insight, uh, just another way to engage with your 
clients that are reaching out to your people that are really trying to find out more information about what you have to offer. So mm -hmm. uh, thanks for being here. And if uh, you have a good number of visitors to your website, having Interchange's team on your side is really something that I'd recommend. Uh, reach out to Nelson and his team today and they'll take you through their process and provide you a customized plan. Um, so thanks, Nelson, for being here. Thank you so much for having me on. I enjoyed it. Yeah, us, us as well. And, uh, you know, you can reach out to Nelson. We have all his contact information in the description here. So be sure to share and like and subscribe to more DMC Marketing Nuggets. Also, you can visit us at dmcmarketingnugget.com to view all our past episodes. Here's to your success.